Namaskar and IOS welcomes you all in this educational video. Now we are going to do data entry operation. And this is lesson number one. The name of the lesson is basics of computer. This is videos part one. First, we will be doing difficult words. After that, we will understand the lesson. Monitor. The monitor of the television is a different thing. This is the computer monitor. This is system unit. We can also consider as brain of the computer. We can put the CD or also we can put the pen drive or any work we do. The input we give to the system, all that is processed through this system unit. Also the storage part is under this system unit. This is speaker. It is attached along with the computer screen on both the sides sometimes. Whenever you need to speak or you need to receive some messages so speaker wire when it is attached to the system then you can receive the audio output. So these speakers are used for audio output purpose. This is mouse. This is also attached with a computer screen and computer. This is not a house mouse or rat you see in your home. This is a device which is attached with a computer and we use it for clicking purpose. We give the command using the mouse click. There are right click and the left click and also some settings are available in the system and we can do the modifications, we can use the click of the mouse. This is keyboard. The typewriter keyboard is a different keyboard and this keyboard is used with a computer. We can have English language, Hindi language or any other language and also mathematical calculations plus minus operation signs, comma and grammar uh, syntax and grammar rules full stop all these can be used using this keyboard. This is printer. Whenever we need to take some printout of any text material or any drawing or any image, then we use this machine which is known as printer. Whenever it is attached with our system, we can take printout, it can be text, it can be image, it can be any thing which we work on the system. Sometimes we also can write on a paper with a pen and then we can copy it, put it in our system and then take a printout and we can take so many number of copies as many as we need. At one time we can take 10 copies or more as per our requirement. This is webcam. It can be attached to a laptop, to a desktop computer. This is used for video calling purpose. Whenever we need to interact with anyone through a video call, 
it is just like the communication we do using our mobile. In mobile we do the audio communication, but using this webcam we can communicate using the video. Hardware. These are the hard substances which we can touch. We all know that we can touch the mouse. We can also touch the monitor and make it as per our need. So, all the things which we can touch are known as hardware. These are all software. As you all know that whenever we work in a computer, there are some substances or some softwares which we cannot touch. We can touch the machinery, we can touch the monitor, we can touch the keyboard and mouse, but we cannot touch the inside software like videos or MS Word files and there are so many soft copies inside the computer. So, all those files, all those folders which are visible on the screen, which we cannot touch, so they are all known as software. We can only see them, we cannot touch them. The opposite of software is hardware. Hardware is that material which we can touch. Now, these two words which you can see are different. The first one is system software, this is the sign and the other word which is application software. Both are software, but both are different. Let me tell you the meaning of system software first. In our system, we use system software for any work we do on computer. We can make choices like for working on the system, we need to have some software which is the basic need. like window, Apple, Linux. There are so many softwares which are available and it is up to us which we can choose and we can put in our own laptop or our own desktop. These are the system software which help us to work on our computer. On the other side, the application softwares are those softwares which make our laptop or desktop powerful, but it is up to our own choice of work. Like if we have to make more videos, if we have to make more text files, we need to do editing. So, according to our need, we put those application software which are needed for our own use. So, application software may vary person to person as per the need. This is UPS. Its full name is Uninterruptible Power Supply. In short, we all call it as UPS. You all must have seen a machinery along with a computer or a desktop system. It is generally of similar color and generally kept with a system. Whenever there is a 
electrical power cut and we are working on a computer, then because of the power cut, the UPS helps the computer to continue its work. That is why it is used for supporting the computer software work. Whenever there is a power cut, the energy or electricity from the UPS will help the computer, CPU and the monitor and all the periphery devices to continue work with the help of UPS only. We cannot attach it with the laptop, but we use it with desktop computers. You all must have seen these VDU, this is visual display unit. In short, we call it as VDU. In earlier time, there were some other name and nowadays due to more technological advancement, there are new names coming up. The first one which is CRT that is a box type visual display unit and the second one is LCD which came later after the CRT desktop computers and nowadays the LED type of visual display units are more in use because of technical advancements. It is more clear and there are more features available in the LED type of visual display unit. There are two words, the first one is hard copy, the second word is soft copy. Hard, we all know the things, hard means those things which we can touch and that is why hard copy means Those papers, those documents which we can read, we can flip the pages and all those are in the hard copy content which we can physically see, physically touch, physically hand over. Those materials are known as hard copy materials. Uh, CD is also a hard copy content, hard copy material, pen drive is also hard copy. And soft copies are those materials or those things which we cannot touch. In our computer, in our laptop, we do so many things which are soft. So we use soft copy, we send mails, we send so many attachments using soft copy materials, we send, nowadays we are using mobile computer for giving and receiving soft copy materials. We can request for hard copy or soft copy as per our own need. And accordingly the receiver and sender sends the same copy which is required whether it is hard copy or it is soft copy. When we take a print out of the soft copy that becomes a hard copy. Thank you.